Hey you, yeah, you, I'm talking to you. You clicked on this video, right? That means the thumbnail or the title caught your attention or this video came in your recommended. So, I also thinking that you are new to the channel. So why don't you do me and yourself a favor by clicking two buttons down there, which is one is red in color, which says subscribe, and the other one is gray in color, which is in the form of a like button. So, you have five seconds to click both of those buttons, cause if you don't, I'm going to be jumping from this 256 block high pillar and if you like and subscribe, I land in water and I survive. And if you don't like and subscribe, I fall into lava and I, all these diamonds and diamond armor of mine will burn. I'm pretty sure you don't want that happening. So, I'm going to be jumping. You better like and subscribe. Okay, I've jumped. 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Oh, you liked and subscribed. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing because I've seen that many of you watch my videos but do not like and subscribe. So I want to see at least 13 likes in this video and let's get into it. hey what's going on guys welcome to the fourth and probably the most important episode in our whole survival series welcome so i think it's safe to say that i have been busy between episodes yes i have been working hard including these seven diamonds and also look at this we have three diamond blocks, seven diamonds, and our farms are working pretty efficiently. As I said, I have to make everything automatic. So look at this. I've color coded everything according to which farm. So we don't really have potato color. I don't think that's a thing. So this is a potato farm with like gray glass. Then yellow gray glass, which I think you got correct, is wheat. We have wheat going everywhere then orange is carrot now the thing is i did this farm at last so that's why when i show you the chest inside how much we actually have of uh food we have i have mined from uh mining all this uh, farming everything look at this we have over 10 stacks of potatoes and wheat the reason I don't have carrot is because as I said I did the farm last so it really hasn't given me enough produce yet but it will soon give so I have been very very busy okay like I have been going through ravines I have been going through cave systems now let me just tell you I have not cheated to get these diamonds I have 34 diamonds I have not cheated to get any of these diamonds if you don't believe me in the description down below the seed the seed to this world plus the two ravines where I got all these diamonds both the of their coordinates will be down in the description go check it out for yourself and if you don't find the diamonds there I don't know how but I found it there so you shall find it there too so I have found 34 diamonds just enough to make almost everything except a hoe and a uh, shovel which I am not going to make out of diamonds because only a noob would do that and I am not a noob so yeah we have quite a bit of resources so for, so this episode we are going to the nether right we hit more than 15 likes last episode so thank you thank you thank you I want 16 likes in this episode so I want to see at least 13 likes in this video Let's hit 13 likes on this video guys, not 16. Sorry. So, let me just make all uh, all of my diamond armor, diamond gear, so, uh, sword, pickaxe, axe, everything. Mine the obsidian, make the nether portal and I will meet you after that. Let's go. Okay guys, so I finished building my nether portal. Uh, this is it. I don't think it's a bad position next to the house. I think it's okay. And I don't think this looks too bad also, but it's fancy enough because it matches the theme of the house, you see. So that's the nether portal and I've taken everything necessary with me. 
so, uh, diamond sword, pickaxe, axe, a map, bread, so, flint and shield to light the portal blocks to build down or if we have any trouble at all. Then some gold to barter with the uh, piglins. Uh, then some TNT which I will tell you why. And the reason why I am wearing a gold helmet is because piglins don't attack you if you are wearing anything of gold. So yeah so for the historic moment in our survival series let's light our nether portal in three okay that happened too quickly sorry anyways it's late let's go to the nether okay let's step out of the portal Oh my god, I almost fell down there. That was a lucky save. Okay, so it looks like we have spawned in the Crimson Forest. Not too bad of a spawn actually. Only considering the fact that we have spawned very very high. Which I do not like at all. So. Let's. So we have spawned in the Crimson Forest. That's cool. So I'm just gonna start picking up any of the blocks and let's hope no hoglins come by cause that's gonna turn out very bad so I so what I want to do is in my farm I want to replace all the torches with shroom lights because I think that will look pretty cool if if I think how it is going to look it looks like that so um so let's so yeah so I want to okay Guys, 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 we have some hog piglins here. Let's give him some gold. See. You can see he's not attacking us. Because we are wearing a gold uh, head plate. No, what's it called? Mm -hmm. I forgot what it's called. But we are wearing a um, one piece of our armor of gold. So, let's barter. Here, take my gold, sir. Take my, by walking away, sir, take my gold kind, sir. Or oh, you may take it, sir. What are you going to give us, sir? Oh, he gave us gravel. I don't like that, sir. I want diamonds or something better than that. Sir, will you give me anything? Okay, he gave us leather bricks. I'm just gonna barter with some other two piglins and let's see what we get. Okay, so up till now, not much luck. As you can see, we only have nether bricks soul sand and string so let's get out of here so what i want to accomplish uh, what i want to get is to see if we can get the most powerful item in the whole game of minecraft which is the ancient debris yes i want to see if i can find ancient debris okay and we are being attacked by a ghast which is not good Let's run. Ah, 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 no, 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 ah. It's okay, I mean, let's just pin So we are not safe as of such. We need to be in hiding. Cause. So let me just hide here. And let me just get out of here and I'll come to you after that. Hey guys, so. I waited out here. And by the time I was um, bartering with the piglins, I looks like, okay, no, we are not safe. So, I actually got crying obsidian from the piglins. I mean, it cannot help us really, but I think for future decorations, it can be great. So, I have to still wait out. Okay, guys, so I waited out and the ghasts are gone. You can still hear some, but... I built this pathway down and I just came up to barter with some uh, piglins again which I just gave me leather so does not matter so I build this mostly against the wall so that we can be safer so if we fall or anything so let me just go down and let's begin to work in getting some resources yep okay guys so I finished mining everything I mean I didn't get much of resources so just 6 room lights 45 
um, 45 shroom, uh, 45 crimson stems or then some weeping vines and also I have not been getting that much stuff also but now what I want to do is the best level for getting ancient debris okay to craft, craft netherite armor is Y level 15 okay and instead of strip mining the best way is to use TNT and blow it up so that's why I have brought TNT with me and let me go to Y level 15 and I will show you if I get any ancient debris two hours later guys 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 so I was I was going okay like you can see I was digging here but I, I ran through some lava I was digging I was digging I came here and look what I found the one and only ancient debris let's mine it all up yes guys oh my god there's another piece here let's be careful and let's dig this up guys we found two ancient debris I mean oh my god it's so cool right there we have two pieces of ancient debris let's go so let's continue and find as much as ancient debris as I can guys look at this remember I I came here and I said the last edited scene there was one piece here and one there I just blew up some TNT here I ran up and look what I find one more piece of ancient debris now I'm actually thinking not only this world but this but not only my overworld which was lucky I think even the nether is lucky of this seed I have put the seed in the description go check it out you can survive in your this whole this world yourself and become as rich as me I guess okay guys so after bringing my diamond pickaxe officially to the to its half durability and using all my TNT I have got enough ancient debris to make all of my armor and items into <laughs> netherite I have eight pieces of ancient debris yes out of just I think five to seven minutes of mining or ten minutes of mining at most with TNT at Y level 15 so I have finished what I wanted to accomplish today next episode I would have I think next episode I will have made I will have had made everything mostly into automatic all my farms into automatic I would have made a sugar automatic sugarcane farm cause that's what we need the most and I want 13 likes on this video okay on 13 likes I will make an infinite villager breeder spawner I'll make an infinite villager breeder farm next episode if this video gets 13 likes okay so don't forget to like and let me just go to the overworld cause I want to just tell a few things to you and also show a few things to you okay guys so just before I end this video I want to let you know that when I was w working on my farm okay I actually used all my dirt I forgot to say this in the starting but I'll say it now I mean how does why not so I used all my dirt to make this whole land flat so what I want to do is I want to terraform this whole place into a flat land so I have lots and lots of space to build so when I was building this I built it one layer right so that means this whole place here would have been hollow so I can actually build some underground things also over here because I put so many torches down because there were creeper skeletons and zombies spawning and I didn't want that happening so I can actually build something underneath this whole flat land and also I feel like um, my house it's good and all but I think sooner or later I think five episodes later or another four five episodes I guess um, I think I will remove my house and I was originally thinking of making a full quartz mansion okay full good looking mansion out of quartz blocks but now I'm thinking I actually am making all unlimited farms right I'm aiming to do that so 
I want to do is I want to build my house underground okay I'm gonna make it underground so that I have and basically I'm only gonna keep like beds or uh, furnaces all or not even furnaces I think only a bed or enchanting room or whatever cause that's all I will need cause everything else is gonna be automatic so I'm gonna make my house underground and also I've been clearing this whole land so basically yes I have been working very hard and before you go 13 likes I will upload a new video until then bye bye and see you in the next episode